I'm Professor Chari Patiarachi. I'm at the University of Western Australia. I'm the facility leader for the Australian National Facility for Ocean Gliders, which is a component of IMOS. Indian Ocean is one of the least understood oceans globally. And what we're trying to do also is to understand how the temperature and salinity in the Indian Ocean has changed. And we also want to prove that we can actually have a glider travel of long distances. In this particular case, we are planning for a six and a half thousand kilometer voyage, which may take up to 12 months. And that has never been attempted before. There were challenges that we thought we were going to encounter and ones which were unexpected. So we're going in a area of the ocean, which is generally quite rough with big waves. But what we also went through initially was very strong eddies. And we actually have to basically uh, track a path through the eddies so that we can actually go towards Sri Lanka. Then uh, we encountered a tropical storm, uh, which passed just to the south of us, which is really good because we also want to prove and collect data during a tropical storm. And now we're actually finding that something that we actually uh, anticipated, that the density on the top layer is quite low. So that means that the glider, which is driven by the changes in density, makes it a little bit harder to come up to the surface. So we have a thruster, which we activate, so it can actually push it through to the surface. So some of them, as I said, we anticipated and planned for. Some of them we didn't. Well, we learned that the Indian Ocean is very energetic with lots of eddies. So we've been basically skipping and hopping eddies and trying to avoid them. Uh, but uh, when we initially started, there were seven eddies lined up. So we actually had to track through them. Uh, it is a challenge in terms of trying to find out the best pathway. We found a lot about the science. We found data uh, inside eddies sometimes. And we found now we are actually measuring the South Equatorial Current, which is one of the strongest currents in the Southern Indian Ocean. We deployed the glider of Fremantle in November. It's on its way to Sri Lanka. We will pick it up in Sri Lanka. We will refurbish, change the batteries, and we will redeploy it to go to the Western Indian Ocean, which could be either Reunion Island or Mauritius. We will pick it up, we will redeploy to come back to where we started off from, off Fremantle. So what we are trying to do is a circumnavigation of the Indian Ocean using this autonomous vehicle, and it may take up to three years to complete that circumnavigation.